Hello and welcome back to Slug Slug Buds. Slug Buds. Slug what? <laughs> uh, Cud Buds. That's better. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna head off to a historic site and maybe get another item of power. Yeah. Ultimate power. Look how big we are. We're so big and now we're getting little. Oh no. Oh, I feel like I zoomed out too much. What's the right level here? Uh, I don't know. I tend to zoom out completely. But I, I'm Yuck. used to playing like that. Eh, I know. All right. We're going, going there, right? Yeah, we're going there. I think you can just click on it. I don't know if you need to, like... Yeah, there you oh. go. Oh. It's a bit scary. I don't like, the, I don't like that. <laughs> All right. We're going down. Downtown. Shouting timber. We've done it. You did do it. Oh God. I don't know what it is with your luck. Why is it always novice of the sightless way? What is it with your character that is like making enemies with one of the most annoying adversaries? They clearly just the enemy of a bad man, you know? <sighs> Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, he's dead now, and I'm mm, sure he doesn't have friends. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. I just... I, I, I don't think I could possibly ask for a more annoying, like, swarm of, of something. We've got a system. It's a good system. Yeah... Yeah, it sure is. Nice. I'm gonna insist that you rest whenever you can. Actually, you're on the overworld right now, so at the very least, you can fly if things get a little bit too spicy. Where'd he go? He went back up. Coward. They are pretty cowardly, aren't they? And again with bears, what is going on? I think this must be these must this must be the same Sultan, like the one that that uh, you know had Glacidusius also ruled over this historic site, and they were friends to bears and novice of the sightless way. Nice. Um, did we want to switch guns at some point? I mean, I really like this bow. Yeah, stick with the bow for now. It, you, at least until your nuclear cell runs out of juice, and then we can switch to the masterwork carbide. It it is very nice. It'll shoot three times, and it will also have similar accuracy. But it, uh, I don't know. We've got a good thing going on here. The nice thing about the electro bow is I'm pretty sure it does go through AV. Maybe not, actually. It did fail to penetrate the, uh, the bear there. Baldur's Gate. I don't understand the reference. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We got some books. Nothing like some books to fill our mind with a nice, knowledge. A nice corner. Is that a corner? Yeah. That'll do. In case anyone comes peeking. Truly detest these historic sites. You have you have made your your training grounds. <laughs> This is very labyrinth. Oh, wow. That guy was just kind of sneaking up on you, huh? What'd you drop? Right? He dropped a, a nug. Nugget. Nugget. No more hammer or slate rock. Okay. Don't care. Yeah. I mean, maybe we want to do some finger painting later. Ooh. 
I can't remember. Did I make you sell? Like, did you have a box of crayons at any point in this playthrough? Yes, and you made me sell them immediately. I'm sorry. They're, I mean, they're really it's, not that exciting. They're fun. The Batman has no time for arts and crafts. <laughs> what? what a jackass. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be a while. Hello, friend. The fact that they immediately get to do that as well. It's just like brutal. You just like, you just take damage instantly. But then they die. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if there's really much we can do in the way of having extra defense against this business. Our best defense is really just a good offense. Which I, I mean, I, I think I don't want to toot my own horn here, but like, yeah, you're, one, hit, you're... this place seems great because it's very cornery. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's working for you. I've got the range. I've got the tools. I've got the talent. I'm going for the distance. I'm going for speed. It's a big open space. No, thank you. No, thank you. Hello? Uh oh. oh. You just had to say hello. They they hello? they needed to they they needed to um Reciprocate your greeting. Are there any cultists here? Hello? Any... Fun little maze they've made. What a fun little maze. We've got some star apples. Mm -hmm. oh, they got a little yeah, farm. I love that for them. Check out the rest of the floor first. Yeah. Those big open areas are kind of a bummer. Oh. oh, hello, friends. Well, the good news is that you can only ever be in psychic battle with one at a time. So it's not like they can all explode your head. If that was the case, then did, I would just, like, insist we leave. And never return. Ugh. Come He's on. just right there. He's right there. Come on, man. He's just right there. It's another compass bracelet. Ooh, a kukri. A kukri is nice. It's based uh, technically a knife. Is it worth? Is it worth selling? Like daggers are worth selling? Yeah, exactly. All right. Why didn't you say so? Right. You take the net. You take. If you've gotten it, yourself another nano pneumatic jackhammer. Did I? Yeah, you did. You automatically took it. You've wow. got one on your but it's on not your person. Painted. No, it's not painted. No, it's That's not true. A, not as fancy. But I think it might have some good parts. Uh, there's an obsidian Chris. In that blood splatter you just walked over. Worth taking. Well, and also that elastine, yeah, that's that's also worth some money. They do seem to have good loot, often. They are, you know, they've got they've got the stuff. What about a Noel worm skull? I don't think so. I can't. I think it gives you increased ego. But is it worth its weight in liquid gold? Nope. Well, that was a fun little... Little... Nowhere. It's a little Genji Ito right there. Ooh. Oh, hello. All right, nice. Yeah, that's fine. 10 damage. God damn. Ain't nothing. Trumps. A lot of them. Did you have anything good? Steel Vine Reaper? No, I didn't. Uh, 
Okay. Check this, out. This is a very a patterned historic site. I kind of like it. Outside of the, you know, novice of the sightless way horde. It's funny because, you know, there's actually quite a lot of Servants of Toe. Um, and it's only the Novice of the Sightless Way that seem to have the most problematic ability. Which I'm not a, really not a huge fan of. I'd almost rather fight anything else. The Dervish are kind of a problem, I will. I, I won't lie. Um, they, uh, they, they get the... I, I really wish this was a, an ability you could play with in the game, but they get to have psionic weapons. Um, and so when they're striking you, um, you can take the chrome revolver for them bits, for sure. When they're striking you, they actually go straight through your AV and um, instead instead attack your, your mental armor. So they can just, like, immediately just gib you which is a problem but um early game novice of the sightless way are just a problem i wouldn't i would say we're almost approaching mid game now you know after you've uh, defeated golgotha i'd say like you know when, when you've when you're approaching bethesda susa uh or have defeated bethesda susa you're officially in mid game Not that you asked, but hey. You take eyes in their benevolence, unabridged. Thank God. I hate the uh, abridged version, you know? They they named characters wrong. Well, they called it Zolo. It was just wrong. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this the, why are cool. we here? What's happening? This is a historic site. We're, we're here for loot. This is okay. correct. I just, I couldn't, I, I literally couldn't remember why we were here. We're here to, to take uh, names and trinkets. Well, there's cybernetics credit wedges at the base of this. And there's also a named item that will, will likely sell for quite a lot of water. But at the same time, it could conceivably serve us well. We might actually have information. Um, do we have the quest, like, obtain the whatever from this place? Uh, Memoir Granary? No, we don't. Just had to travel here. Yeah. Uh, that means we did. We haven't obtained the lore that talks about the named item. You are famished. I'm hungry. Hungry. Should I cook? Yeah. I, I'd say that's a good idea. Yeah, probably yeah. do that. Yeah, I mean, it won't let you do otherwise. And then you hit space, there you go. That lets you turn it, uh, set it on fire. We can uh, hey. make a new meal. What kind of meal would you like to make? Oh, heck if I know. You got anything new to work with? Um, Have you done uh, anything with congealed hulk honey yet? I want to say yes, but I don't remember. I want to make sure I like congealed Hulk honey and spine fruit jam. Or we did, and it didn't do what you wanted. And you were sad. It rarely does. Because I'm, to be honest, not very good at creating interesting recipes. I gather some fixings for them congealed Hulk honey, some spine fruit jam, and a dark thorn leaf. I eat it. Actual food. Some quills. Now that's not bad. 50 chance to dismember or slam your opponent like that. Use intimidate. Is intimidate? Uh, you go. Hey. Um, hmm. The middle one's not bad either. 10% is not bad. The problem, though, is that you're not really fighting anything that will uh, be in melee range. Uh, but Early. I guess that also is the same for the, the, the top one. So, yeah. Uh, I think what I like about that top one is 12 to 15% chance is 
is pretty good and quill's mutation at level eight nine is going to be ridiculous damage but 50 percent chance to dismember see the thing i don't like about that second one is it has nested uh, um like percentage chances so you only have a 10 percent chance to maybe dismember or slam your opponent 30 percent of the time it works 100 percent of the time <laughs> Uh, and you have no feelings about intimidation intimidation is nice it's a debuff um gain a plus two bonus on the ego roll when using intimidate it's nice reflecting damage is also good it's a it's a decent recipe and and in fact we can use that i think at range um against the opponents that we're currently fighting so yeah it's actually pretty good for our circumstance Up to you. I I, uh, I think all three of these are valid in, in, in their own way. I think the top two are circumstantially not as useful for this specific dungeon. I'm but... going to do the weird intimidate one. Okay. That means Hulk honey spine dolma. Love a dolma. 4%. Very good, very good. Um, oh, right, time to intimidate some chumps. Why don't you want to have a look at what that does, just so we know? Oh, uh, if you click on it, it will just initiate. Hit A. Hey. And then uh, go down to intimidate. Don't press the button or else it'll try and use it. No, oh, cool. It just doesn't say. It's great. Intimidate. Um, I we we can find it in the skills if we want. Um. If we go like your skills section. I think it's L. It's not. It's P. All oh, right. Uh, and it's gonna be in. Um, go down. <clears throat> Keep going. I think. Oh, persuasion. I think. It's in persuasion. Whoop. Intimidate. You try to terrify the adjacent hostile creatures. Um, 1d8 plus ego it modifier penetration. Away. Frightened creatures flees from you for 44 rounds. Uh, I guess it's only adjacent. Shucks. I thought it was ranged. I was thinking of probably berate. Have a, mm. Or uh, even menacing stare, maybe. But that might mm, be... Snake boiler. Oh, okay. That's fun. Yeah, it makes things cheaper. Oh. I think I was thinking of berate, because that one lets you do it at range. Man, a menacing stare is pretty Batman. <laughs> Where is Rachel? Let's Where see. is she? Where is right, she? Uh, where is Glazadoucious? All right, let's continue on. Get away from me, I'm a monster. I, I, I found out the other day that um, I didn't realize that Christian Bale uh, was the voice actor for Howl, for the vo uh, English version of Howl's Moving Castle. And apparently that's where he kind of treated it as the test bed for Batman's voice. There's your uh, semi-fun fact of the day. Where is he? I don't know. I actually straight up do not know. I don't see them anywhere. I think they, like, turn the corner. You're going to have to, like, go around the corner to find them. Oh, there oh. they are. <laughs> nice. You are bleeding. Oh, they had spiked steel gauntlets. Tiger, musket. Uh, spiked steel gauntlets. I'm going to take the dagger. I'm going to break that musket down. Yeah, heck yeah. I might also recommend treating those as scrap. Uh, I wouldn't recommend taking the gauntlet. I think you've already got your set, your set up for that. We're bleeding. They got the better hand of that roll. Gotta say, 
They punched you exactly once and bled you out for 10 damage. Pretty impressive, like, honestly. Stop bleeding eventually? You're 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 not bleeding anymore. You can heal. I'm just oh, I'm just bloody. Yeah, you're just kind of like waiting in your own blood. Splish splash, I've been taking a bath. In my own blood. I feel like I got most of them at this yeah. point on this level. I think I think that is true. Somehow have not found the staircase. Oh, there's still one more. Oh. Oh, that's not a actually you're in the perfect position because if things go back bad you can always go right and enter a different tile perfect that went that worked out beautifully they won't they won't go bad i have like all a genuine ptsd on uh them they've they've ended a few of my runs brutal hey carbide dagger very nice Going. Doop doop dooby dooby doo doo. There's the stairs. There they are. Finally. It's like we've been everywhere. Where's the BD stairs? Uh, is there? I think I see another lad. While traveling through <gasps> Form District Shishin, Darshleet stopped Julica. the tavern in Arzur's cave where he lost his prize, Julika, to a local pickpocket. He cursed the tavern and left Arsazor Cave. Oh, this is a different item different and a different thing. historic site. We've we've read about Julika before. But now we say, I've certainly said that word <clears throat> out loud. But now we have the actual quest to obtain it. Um, which is nice. Alright. Very good. Well done. I wish to go. Down, please. Yes. Take him down. Um, down. Down. Oh. Right away, huh? Uh, I might say we just go upstairs and completely do away with all of this. Let them follow you upstairs. No. Bear. Bear. Didn't expect you never expect bear, do you? You get so much bear jerky again. <laughs> you have to you should uh, preserve your fresh food because you've got a bunch of bear remains hanging out in your inventory. Oh <laughs> god damn. Yeah, this is fine. Oh the bear. The bear. You're no longer in psychic oh, combat. The bear. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Yeah, good move. You could you could try intimidating the bear. Wanna try intimidating the bear? Yeah, I'll, I'll do the next one. Oh, you're fighting the bear. Guess there's a bear on the stairs. There was a bear on the stair. Oh, he's dazed. Would you fight a bear on a stair? Would you dare? Would you? I eat don't a... care to fight the bear on the stair. Would you eat a green egg and hair? With oh. dog thorn, dog thorn leaf? No. Bear. All right. The bear has. Can I go downstairs, please? <laughs> Can I go downstairs? Uh. Ooh. Let's see what we got here. Look at all the things. It's painted. Painted means lore. It does mean lore. Ah. Uh. Antidote. The third. In 3928 Burr, and at out three, the untitled died of natural causes. He was 114 years old. You want to know That's what? That's how he died. Do you want to know what Burr means, by the way? 
It's not for Rebecca. Oh, you're so close. That's a good guess, though. Before Reginald Thornberry. <laughs> <laughs> what does it stand for? Reshef. Uh, yeah, you were you were right on the money there. Rebecca. And then AR is after Reshef. Classic. Classic. Rebecca's got some interesting lore. <laughs> All right, but I don't want it. No, but you do want that utility knife and a potter's knife. Good, good trade goods. I don't know. There it is. I feel like I, I've been playing a lot of Mountain Blade, uh, and well, something that I've I've been really enjoying in that game is smithing. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like it's like maybe the one thing I, w I would like to see added to to cut. I mean, there's so many things, of course. I, I hesitate always, like even musing a, a feature addition, but I'd love to like, you know, you can like find crystal ingots and be able to make your own weaponry and stuff. It'd be really cool. I wish I, I wish I knew how to mod. It's one of those things I really want to sit down and learn at some point be a lot of fun to to add here you know own stuff own skill trees the only one stopping you is you you're not wrong so uh, you know i know we're all about looting every floor but yeah I, I will turn into boots. I will concede he did turn into boots. That's my favorite leprechaun curse. Um if you're down to, to explore every floor, I will certainly not stop you. Um There is good books. stuff here. Yeah, books. Like the one thing that would keep me exploring. another bookshelf it's probably got at least a book on there nope never mind yellow does not have things on it no it has to have red bark red bark oh oh spicy and you've got new uh those are those are new servants of undertow on your right um and he's slumberling just 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 for safe measure so that when you miss your shot on the novice of the sightless way you will accidentally wake the slumberling i love this room what a great room truly um i have a, a suggestion for you but if you want to try and uh, puzzle this one out no, no, I'm open to not dying. We're doing great. So. Uh, so the ones on your right are actually not super dangerous. They'll just confuse you, as you know. Um, the one that is still the most danger is the one on the left. I would recommend just going left. I hope that you are no longer confused. I think that the confusion is actually working to your benefit. I sure hope that that wasn't the slumberling. It I think it was the slumberling. I think you are currently in combat with the slumberling. <laughs> oh my god. What a nightmare. I think you killed it. You did. You killed the slumberling. You bashed it to death. Um, um, continue hitting left. I think you're still confused. So the good part about being confused is I'm pretty sure that actually uh, takes you out of psychic lock because you don't really have enough intelligence to harm does that kind of make sense am i still confused no you're no, good now I'm... you can kill those guys on the right hey you know Great. i think we just learned something i think i just learned something tell me um why don't we wait a couple turns uh to no longer be confused because i i have an idea i'm brewing something up here uh, go in You've your tinkering. 
okay. Did we learn? No, we didn't. Shoot. Whoop. No, we're good. We're good. Uh, I was hoping that maybe we learned how to make flashbangs. Mm. So here's here's uh, this. this I, I I love this game so much. Um, you have a flashbang on you, I think. Let's have a look, real quick. Your grenades. 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 You do not have a flash. Uh, did I? Okay. Apparently, uh, you dreamed we... it. I did dream it. It is generally speaking something I. I might have had one and thrown it immediately. Mm -hmm. No, that was acid. You're mm -hmm. right. You're right. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so flashbangs, I uh, I'm pretty sure cause confusion. Like they they apply the effect confusion. I was gonna have you if you if you can uh, at some point learn how to make them. They might be the ultimate defense against novice of the sightless way because you could just flashbang yourself and it would take you out of locked psychic battle. Mm. Just an idea. Hey, an What's acolyte. It's an acolyte. Or sorry, Arcanaut. Oh, I like your boots, sir. They've got lore. Well, you can go and check out his boots. I actually just look at his boots. I'm pretty sure uh, you might not be able to look at the boots. I think if you auto explore, it'll check them out, but I'm not sure how that works. Mm, I'm wrong about that. I guess Get not every. A horn. I want to look at the deep boot lore. <laughs> Like, why did this man over here turn into boots when I killed him? Yeah. All right, why don't we uh, end the episode here? Because we're we did it. We're making good progression here. We learned something too. Wee. Wow, wow, wow. That's pretty good. Yeah. You know, psychic battle. Get confused. Get confused. I that makes sense. It's it's a logic. Uh, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more combat co content like this. Combat? Yeah, or just leave a message saying you're doing great. Yeah. You're, you're learning so fast. We're wow. Le I, I appreciate that I am also learning things. Because you're trying things that I, ne I never would have. That's right. I'll see you guys next time. You're welcome. Bye.